feeling stressed, working a lot, you're gonna break down. Don't break down. What? Who'd you see? Jojo? No, now you're seeing things too? What's going on? No, there's no Jojo Siwa here. It's just me and you. What are you on about? Bestie, don't break down. Why, why break down? When you and I can sit here and break down and analyze Jojo Siwa's life decisions. In fact, I actually have a um, graduation paper I have to write for university, but I'm just here with you. I've chosen to break down Jojo Siwa's rebranding. Remember Jojo? Mojo Jojo Siwa. You don't know her. What do you mean you don't know her? You've never been to a mall? Seen her face plastered in all the stationery? You might recognize her from the school bags, or the pencil cases, or the pens. You know you're a kid's bop icon when you're on school supplies. Yeah, you don't see Jimmy Kimmel or Trevor Noah's face on a backpack. Your face, right there, next to Dora the Explorer and the Bratz dolls. Jojo. Well, I would actually go get me one of those bags, because you're not going to be getting another collection. You're not going to see those anymore. They might sell for a lot in the future. <laughs> They're antiques now. Jojo Siwa is a very intelligent girl. She's banked a lot of money out of a personal brand that she built herself targeting children. Girl's a huge entrepreneur, and I respect it. We know Jojo from YouTube, from Nickelodeon, from Dance Moms, and after an amazing run with a child audience, Jojo is done. Jojo Mojo wants a bigger audience, a broader audience. So her marketing team helped, although helped is a big word. I wouldn't say they, they helped. They did something. They did rebrand her from Jojo the Child Star <laughs> to Jojo the Rebel. This alter ego of hers. 46 million followers. Children. Okay? What do you do? You tell your yeah. the children that are following you, hey, I'm gonna be bad now, so. Huh? This is a warning. <laughs> <laughs> but it does happen, right? Child stars. They grow up, they want to transform their children-oriented careers into something that resonates with them a little bit better. So like how Hannah Montana transformed into Miley Cyrus, you know, she shaved her head, got on a wrecking ball, hypersexual content. JoJo's just doing the same thing, okay? She said it herself. It's no secret that my transition is heavily inspired by Miley Cyrus! She yells, it's my impression of her. Miley's flip. She called it. But Miley's flip. But there is a stark difference, because Miley's flip kind of felt authentic. Miley's turn was the greatest thing that I've witnessed with my own two eyes. Miley Cyrus's re rebellion felt real. It didn't feel like a marketing stunt. It just came from somewhere within her. It felt like she was done, you know, fed up. Jojo Siwa's flip is this marketing stunt, and she's trying so hard to convince us that this is it. She's a bad girl now, and I don't see it. You don't see it. We, we don't see it. Nobody sees it. <laughs> Karma's a bitch, Karma's a bitch. Is a song. Okay? You want me to talk about the song, but there's something a lot bigger than the song going on with Jojo Siwa. It's this entire rebranding that's just... But there's no easier way to say this isn't suitable for kids anymore than going a bit sexual. And so the marketing team wanted to use the fact that, you know, she had come out recently, congrats to her. And they wanted to transform her into a gay icon and sort of hypersexualize her. So Jojo just went from, you know, being on school bags to getting down and dirty with the girls in her video. Pharma six. What I'm talking about, away from the song, Jojo Siwa letting paparazzi take pictures of her while she walks out of an adult store with all the stuff she's bought. Letting paparazzi take pictures of her, yes. Letting them, because one of Jojo Siwa's cars has her face plastered all over it. I don't know about you, but if I'm hitting a <laughs> shop and I'm trying to be discreet about it, I don't think I choose the car that has my face <laughs> plastered all over it. Every crevice. Headlines were made. Child star Jojo Siwa seen walking out of a <laughs> shop. <sighs> She's so bad. She's so bad. Little stunts like this are just part of the bigger picture. The rebranding. And it's giving me... 
cognitive dissonance. That's what they want. They want to shake you. They want to convince you. They want to show you that this girl is now grown up. You're not gonna see her on school bags anymore. Unless her marketing team gets a really shitty idea. But instead of being, oh my god, she's lost her mind, we, the audience, are making fun of it. And that's how you know it's not working. Girl said, I was a bad girl. I did some bad things, like yelling in your videos a little too loud. Child, sit down. Wild child, you mean like petting zoo, petting zoo wild. Someone said, hi, your song saved me. I've been suffering from a severe depression episode when karma came on the radio and I got out of my bed for the first time in three weeks to turn it off. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh my Lord. It's backfired. It's not working because we didn't buy it because it feels unauthentic. In fact, it's so unauthentic to the point where even her song, Karma's a Bitch, that she said she made, and I quote, I have shut up break every single day for the last three weeks since we started teasing it. The internet has gotten very mad at me, but at the end of the day, I made the art that I wanted to. But at the end of the day, I made the art that I wanted to. No. You didn't make the art, babes. Apparently, Karma's a Bitch is not her song. It's Brit Brit's song. Actually, it isn't Brit's song. Like, she didn't write it, at least. But it was given to her by the record company. More on that later. What I find wild is how Brit decided to release the song now. Just now. Brit, who's now like 38 years old, she's left the music and entertainment industry a decade ago, okay, since she had recorded her own version of Karma's a Bitch. When all of a sudden, today, Brit regrets releasing another song, provocative, back in the day. She says it was a mistake and she should have released Karma's a Bitch now that JoJo's getting clout for it. She goes ahead to release Karma's a Bitch, which tops the charts over Siwa's version. She essentially climbed on top of Mojo Jojo's back, rode the little drama wave, and she did that. She didn't just release the song though, she made a music video. And it's the exact same song, y'all. I don't know, like a slap on the face. It's an unreleased song that Brit had worked with, this production company, and once she switched companies, the song remained the brainchild of the initial production company, so they just kind of basically gave JoJo the song. Now this happens all the time in the music industry, it's kind of normal. But girl, what do you mean you made the art? You mean the dance? The dance is actually good. She's really passionate about it though. I kinda love that. But what's funny is the whole rebranding was framed around this rebellious version of her that she's showcasing in the song, but the song didn't even come from her. That's how <laughs> unauthentic this is. She's playing a character, I feel. I don't know, does she believe it herself? Like it or not, what's been in your head the last three days? I was <laughs> Such a baddie. What's been in your head the last few days? Danny said, It's actually been too sweet by Hazire, but thanks for trying. Did your boots stop working? Did your truck break down? Honestly, slow down by ch <laughs> It's not JoJo. No, but the song is catchy. And I think she's done a good job. All right, I'm gonna say it. Fight me. I think she's done a good job. It's a tough video. Like, there's a lot of work. You can see that there's been a lot of like work put into it, you know, and that I can respect. But there's a bit of a problem with the whole like, branding where it just, just doesn't feel like it was for her, you know? Wait, because it happened again with another song she's working on. It's a, it's a good song, all right? I have to talk over it. It's a song by Emmeline called Choose Your Fighter. That's the song. It's a really good song. I like it. And again, you know, as Shirley said, so many artists get their songs from other artists who write them. Why is everyone dragging JoJo for it? How can we say that JoJo's reborn into this character that she now is? The songs were literally presented to us as though they were artistically representing this transformation. New age, new me, raw emotions coming from deep within her. But they're not, and we see it. It's not genuine. So the songs are not hers. Yes, it happens all the time in the music industry, 
but it makes us feel like she is playing a character of a bad girl. Not only did she make the art that she didn't really make, but her art goes so far, she's gonna create a new genre of music. What do you mean, the interviewer said? Well, it's called gay pop. It's called gay pop. Yeah, everyone was like, what? what? Who, I don't know, Lady Gaga and Freddie Mercury. M Madonna? Troy Sivan? I only know Jojo Siwa, pioneer of a new genre of music. Jojo Siwa actually believes herself to be quite the pioneer. Although she said she was inspired by Miley Cyrus, she also claims to be the first to do such a drastic and dramatic transformation. <laughs> In her generation. Oh. No one has made this dramatic of a change yet. No one has made, in my generation, this extreme of a switch. That's like saying I'm the first scuba diver in my generation. Cool. I don't think like taking something that's been done before and then saying that you're the first to do it in your generation is really that impressive. <laughs> I, I think. I was actually the first pilot of my generation. Pilot number. <laughs> Cho -cho. <laughs> I kind of love her. She wants to take credit for being a pioneer, but she doesn't know what she wants to pioneer. Okay? They gave her a song. They said, do this. She's like, okay, uh, we'll make a bad girl era. She's so bad girl, like in an interview. I got a good word for it. Messy. <laughs> She's so crazy. She's so crazy. She's messy, y'all. She's crazy. Are you dating right now? Give it to me. What did you like to know? She's, <laughs> She's so bad. I'm, I'm just curious, you know. I'm sure you wouldn't like to know, but I'm sure you would like to know. I'm sure you would like. She just does not give bad girl energy at all. You would like to know. <laughs> Who are dying. Dying to know. I'm, I'm not convinced. Marketing team, hear me, hear me now. I am not convinced. In the last few weeks, the internet has definitely made me feel like a psychopath. But then I realized something. No, 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 no. I realized something. I'm not a fucking psychopath. And this is some shit that only I can do. Bad girl energies vibrating through you as we. They're coming to get you. She's so bad, I couldn't even finish that sentence. They were coming to get her. The ambulance. It's not the police. You don't have tattoos anyway. I, I actually have two tattoos dedicated to him. I'm sorry. The old JoJo can't come to the phone right now. Where are her tattoos? What? Are they gone? Yes. Sometimes they are, and other times they're not. Like this time, where she shoves them in your face and turns her arm around so subtly. You, do, you don't even notice, so you can get a good look at her tattoo sticker sleeve. Are her tattoos real? Honestly, I don't think it matters, all right, whether they're real or not, until you think of why she's doing it, what she thinks tattoos mean. I think she thinks getting tattoos would mean she's a rebel now. She's a baddie now. A kid's bop baddie. No, people are literally calling her Debbie Ryan. Debbie Ryan of her generation. Why Debbie? of all people. Because one thing about Debbie is, her acting is so bad because it's unauthentic. It's just, <laughs> it's just acting that looks like acting, you know? <laughs> Debbie, Debbie, you can literally see right through her act. Oh my God, are you always on the go and like doing spontaneous things? It scares me to be still. It's terrifying, yeah. Well, much like Debbie Ryan, um, we could kind of see right through Jojo Siwa's act as well. Take a look at this. Dream guest on my podcast? <laughs> oh, sorry, what happened to your voice? Dream guest in my podcast? Oh my gosh. I mean, honestly, let's spice things up. One of my exes. Oh? <laughs> oh, you're so crazy for that. Okay. That's enough. That was not nice. Yeah. Oh? <laughs> She was looking around for the Whoa! She didn't get that though. Listen, I respect and I admire JoJo's hustle. Again, I think she's a very 
intelligent girl. And you know what? She's grown. It's good to move from, you know, the audience that she's had. Grow her career as she grows, you know? I like that. I respect that. But pff, JoJo, what the hell is that marketing team doing? Got spotted? at an adult store with a car, your face is plastered all over. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? It's just like when Miley Cyrus was going through it, it was like, she's going through it. I love Miley Cyrus. I really enjoy her music. I really, I really enjoy her music. Jojo Siwa's song is pretty catchy. It's, it's contagious. Is that a better word for it? Maybe it's um, infectious. It's a biohazard. It's a well put together piece of work, okay? But there's just something that's missing this entire rebranding, and it's the authenticity, which I think is very, very important. I think you've missed quite a chunk there when we could just see right through somebody. Maybe trying to be someone that they're not quite, you know? Maybe I'm wrong, actually. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is who she really is. Maybe it's genuine, and in that case, Maybe it's just not for me. Is it for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it for you? <laughs> what are your thoughts, bestie? Let me know down in the comments below. What are your thoughts of JoJo Siwa's tragic rebranding? JoJo Siwa's rebranding uh, fiasco. Rebranding disaster. You slap on a dark aesthetic makeup on her and that's it? I'm supposed to believe she's bad. But her dream guest on the podcast is... Probably her ex or something. <laughs> Jokes aside, I do wish JoJo a lot of success, you know, with her new endeavors on the, in the music industry and, and uh, adult, the, ad <laughs> the adult world. I don't know, what, how the fuck are you, how, what am I supposed to say? I was gonna say adult content. <laughs> that would've been, I do believe you can make music for adults without, you know, like, I mean, Hosire is a great example. I don't know, there's a lot of artists that do music that isn't too, you know, in your face. This is not for kids. I don't know, I feel like maybe a gradual change. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. No, um, they wanted the wow factor, and you know what? It's, it's wow. So that was pretty much it, guys. Um, let me know and share your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are on this. What do you like? Do you like the song? That lyric was... It for me. Honestly, like the lyrics are not the greatest. It's not her song though, so it's the it's Brit's song. But those lyrics, you know, they could be they could you could work. There's a, there's some work to be done. There's, there's always room for improvement. It's never perfect. There's room for improvement. A lot of room. But shut up. I have to ruin it every time. Anyway, I'm curious to hear your thoughts. So tell me down in the comments below. What do you think of this rebranding fiasco? Do you think they've done a good job? I mean, we're all talking about JoJo right now, aren't we? Isn't that the point of marketing? Do you think it's viable? Do you even care? <laughs> okay. You know what? I do. Because once I pass by those stationary stores, I know I'm not gonna see any more JoJo Siwa on the bags. How am I supposed to cope? Unless she sends me a bag with that face on it. That would be kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. I would wear that to like gym. So people know I'm a bad girl. So people know I was a wild child too. See that? That was me when I was a wild child. I had B cup boobs when I was a child. Man, moobs, moobs. You can't be wild and have moobs, okay? This I know, this I know. How did that drag itself into this conversation? We're wrapping up guys, <laughs> that's it. I'm gonna leave you with that. Um, share your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm excited to see and hear. Um, that was pretty much it, I'm gonna go now. See ya. Or maybe I won't see you, because I'm bad. Did you believe, did you believe that? Did that come across as genuine? Because that's, that's what this whole rebranding feels to me. That was, that was as concise as I can be about this whole thing.